Azimuth. Azimuth, 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 Azimuth. I am Stereo Azimuth. Um, that's what I go by. Uh, at least on this channel, right? Um, so, I wanted to take a second and talk about uh, another thing about phono setup or turntable setup, turntable alignment. Uh, this is just another video in my series. I don't know how many these will do, but um, people keep asking me questions, then uh, then I'll, I will do them. So feel free to you know, send me questions, comment, and um, uh, I will try to address it. One of the questions that I got was, like, what about azimuth? Okay, what about... That's that's my name. Um, I kind of just picked azimuth because uh, I, I thought it sounded very sort of mystical, like like a you know wizard or something like that. But basically, uh, azimuth, as far as like audio, uh, has two different sort of connotations. It does have to do with alignment. Um, one has to do with like phono alignment or phono cartridge alignment, which what I'm going to talk about now. The other way is like tape head alignment. That's what I really meant. It was like tape head because I love reel to reel. Uh, tape machines and stuff like that and spending time in the studio and recording on real on, on actual reel to reel like you know two inch 24 track and uh, quarter inch stereo quarter inch uh, that's or excuse me half inch uh, stereo uh, all that kind of stuff so it's a lot of fun so but basically what it is is um, like it, as far as like tape head I'll just say if this is the tape path and this is your tape head it's where your tape head is you know going this way or that way so there is like this you know kind of parallel you know because the tape head is just you know up or down like where it's going down but that is tape head alignment but then there's the, your azimuth which is kind of like this and the same thing is like how we talk about it in um the world of phono is the whether your cartridge is sitting like parallel to the record or if it's doing like this right like if it's if it's doing that so that's your azimuth so those uh, alignment protractors so it's like VTA adjustments um, that you can get that I uh, put a link in and I'll put a link in here too where it's a plexiglass thing and it has this grid and you can look at it and see where your uh, azimuth is because the protractors that you put on your turntable, like the printed up ones, uh, can get it in that like sort of um, you know aligned state, kind of like that, you know side to side of uh, tape path. But but then you're still like your angle and the Technics SL twelve hundred like is notorious for you know uh, bad azimuth alignment, and the reason why is because it has that quick release collar. So that quick release collar can can cause things to go wonky a little bit so it's always good to to check your azimuth right so um i'm going to show you quickly how i check mine and uh my tone arm actually kind of needs replacing so i've got like a lot of play uh in my tone arm so this will be fun to see um how things uh, are go here so let's just switch here so what i've done is i've got this little uh, you know bubble level and this is actually for a camera I actually got this out it was like one of those ones that you pop in a camera uh, like in the flash section and it has this bubble level on top so whenever you're quickly going from place to place and you want to level your camera you've already got your bubble level like right on your camera right there um, but what I did is I popped that out so it's flat on the bottom and this cartridge holder this is an Ortophone head shell and it's flat on the top and it's resting in the you know it's not sitting on the record playing surface so that's why it's a little slightly tipped up if I moved it over the record playing surface it would actually the bubble level would be uh, exact but it's a little bit tipped sort of uh, down towards the top which means it's it's a little tipped up and I'll show you right quick basically what I mean I'm lifting up the tone arm so do you see that and that's down so and it's it's close but what's gonna happen is 
I'm going to rock, I'm going to grab the side of the, the, uh, you know, the, the head shell and kind of move it side to side and you'll see that bubble level move. Well, that's a lot of play. And actually, my turntable is a little uh, wonky here. So hold on, let me reposition my camera. Sorry, folks. I thought I had this all set up correctly. But yeah, but you see here um, where all I'm doing is like moving this kind of to the side. I mean, and I can get a good look at it. Like, if I set it like that and I look at it at the protractor, like, it's going to look off. But what I can do is I can always reset it here and then I can take this off. Now, as long as it's sitting in the rest and I get it to sit like that and I play my record, I should be fine. It holds tight enough to where when I move the head shell, it doesn't move. The problem is always in this collar part, right? Um, there are two screws like underneath the the Technique's uh, turntable that are just like Phillips uh, head screws that you can tighten down that will tighten up this collar. But what this means to tell me is that I probably need uh, my, my tone arm, this, this collar is worn a little bit and um, so I might want to replace that tone arm. Even if I tighten down the collar, like all the way, I still get some play. Not as much as I was before. So, but I mean, I have to really tighten that collar down. And if I tighten that collar all the way down, that's about right there. It still doesn't give me exactly what I'm looking for. So that's one way that I do it. And you know, you can check this and I can sit here and I'll, I'll take this off. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna turn my actual record player on and I'm gonna disconnect it. And I'm gonna gingerly, and I'm gonna move it with my hand so you can see. Cause you shouldn't be the little th like rest here. You should be always like lightly just picking it up. You, know, you can't see what I'm doing. But it only takes a feather's touch. So I've played it. I've returned it. I'll put the level back on. And you see it's still pretty much set where I had it before. Like right down the line. So and what I'm looking for is that you see the two screws I can get this in line here. This is really kind of difficult. If you see the two screws, that's the front of the head shell. And what I want is I want that bubble to be exactly in between those two screws. So another way to do it is to use like the protractor, um, you know, those plexiglass uh, protractors to check your azimuth. Um, so and then you know what do you do if you have you know that much play in your you know in your particular tone arm uh, it might be time for a tone arm replacement or it might mean that you need to you know tighten up some screws somewhere um, so just make sure that it's not like off make sure it's always like exactly level with the playing surface so and that's pretty much it so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about it it's a very short sort of like one time adjustment kind of thing um, but you know just know that you know every time I take my head shell off and put it back on then yeah I better I better check my azimuth so anything that has a quick release you know just know that over time like you might wind up with some play in the head shell and to and to check it and, it, and it's okay to check if it's in the you know in the tone arm rest it's just going to be a little bit off if you want to check it on the playing surface that's fine just you know just know that you know i wouldn't go and just 
grab on it and adjust, you know, while you got it in the air. Like only put the tone arm back to rest, lock it down, then make a slight adjustment, move it back, check it again. And, you know, this thing actually does weigh, I, 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 I weighed it, it actually weighs like um, half a gram. So, I mean, I've put it on and, you know, checked even on the record playing surface. I just take a half a gram out of my tone arm weight when I'm checking it. Because this is going to add a half a gram of tracking force if I put it on my... Um, you know, on my head shell. So, uh, because I've, I've the, the, one of the reasons I know that is because I've zeroed out my tone arm and I know that it, it weighs about half a gram. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, if anybody has any other tips or tricks or anything else about what we could do, or if anybody would like to help me, uh, what I can do to help fix my tone arm to where I don't have as much play, that would be much appreciated. So, until next time, thanks guys, have fun, and happy vinyl. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you later.